In this video I quickly want to go over how you can use Inkscape to make a digital copy of your signature. So stick with us. I've quickly written out a signature several times on the back of an envelope, I've taken a photo of it with my phone, I've uploaded the photo to my computer and I'm just about to import it. So I'm going to come up to File, down to Import and I've got the photo of my example signatures. You can open that and here we have the back of my envelope. So now we've got a photo of our signatures imported into Inkscape. The next thing we need to do is make a trace of this so we can convert it into a vector graphic. So I'm going to come up to Path. I'm going to come down to um, Trace Bitmap and that will open up our Trace Bitmap dialog box. I'm just going to drag this over. I have made a video running through uh, many of the options in Trace Bitmap. I'll put a link to it in the top right hand corner if you want to watch that. But for this all we need is brightness cutoff. We're using single scan. We're going to select our image and it shows us a preview down the bottom here. So it actually looks quite good. But what I'm going to do is, because I don't want all this, if we come back over to our image it'd be nice if we could just cut out one of these signatures. So looking at them I think the bottom signature looks looks the tidiest. So to cut out this bottom signature, I'm going to come up and select my rectangle tool. I'm then going to drag a rectangle over the top of my writing. We can't actually see where this box is sitting over the writing at the moment. So what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom. I'm going to click on this X down the bottom and that gets rid of our fill color. And if we hold down shift, we can select a stroke color. So we've got an outline. So we can adjust this to whatever size we want it. And that neatly surrounds the signature that I want to keep. So with my rectangle still selected, I'm going to hold down shift, I'm going to select the background image and we can come up to object, uh, come down to clip and over to set clip and that would cut out our image. But if we notice over in the preview window, we're still seeing the whole of the image. When we use uh, trace bitmap, it looks at the whole of the original image. So we need to convert this into an image in its own right. So we can actually make a copy of this. If we come up to edit, down to make a bitmap copy and that's just made a copy of the visible section. So this is our copy and if we click on this one which is the original image that's been clipped you can see that Inkscape is looking at the whole of the original picture. So we can get rid of that because we don't want that. We go back to our bitmap copy. So now we can adjust how this looks. If we come up to the top here we use the threshold we can adjust the threshold till we're happy with the image. If we move it too high you'll see we start getting all this background noise. We don't want that. We just want a nice clean image but we don't want it too low that we start to lose the writing. So somewhere in the middle. So I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to press apply and now we have a vector copy of our writing. If we wanted it to be blue the same as my signature that I've written down here then we can just come down to the bottom and we can select the blue color and I think for a signature that looks quite good. So the next thing we need to do is export this. So if we want to use it in other documents and in other programs we need to export this. If we export it as a PNG we can keep the transparency behind so it's just the writing so when we stick it onto a document all we have is our signature as if it's written by hand. So I'm going to come up to file, I'm going to come down to export and this opens up our export dialog box. At the top here we just want to have single image and in the options we've got down here we just want to have the selection. We just want the selected signature to be exported. We don't want anything else exported. So you can adjust your dots per inch um, but I'll leave it as is. We've got a little preview in our box down here of what our signature is going to look like. I'm happy with that. So we can choose where we want to save our file. If we come down here, click on our little file icon down the bottom here and then we can choose the destination for our image. So we can call this digital signature and press save. And that will export it. If we make any adjustments we can just press export again and it will do the same. If I look in my folder I can see now that I've got the original um, photo and I've got a PNG copy of my signature. Now this is what we're going to use um, when we're creating documents. 
So in my copy of LibreOffice, I've just created a dummy document that I want to sign. So all I'm going to do is come up to Insert, and I come down to Image, and I'm just going to import the digital copy of my signature. And it's imported our signature into our document. We can obviously rescale this to whatever size we want. We can also change how it interacts with the document. At the moment, it pushes everything out of the way, depending on where we put it. But if we just change it over to Through, we can then sit it on top of our writing or wherever we like. So at the moment you can see a border around our image but when this is exported that won't be visible. So we just click off. I'm going to export it as a PDF just to demonstrate that that border won't be there any longer. So export as a PDF. Um, just click on export. We can choose where we're going to put it. I'm going to put it um, in the same folder as I've got my other images. We'll leave it as Untitled 1, click Save, and now that should be in our folder with everything else. So if we just double click on the PDF, and you can see that we've got our dummy document with a nice digital copy of our signature, looking nice and tidy, no background colour, no border. You can just import it into any document as an image, and we can use it wherever we want. So if you wanted to sign a PDF document, we can come back into Inkscape, we can come up to File, we can import our document, so down to import, find our PDF document that we want to sign. We can OK to the settings, and we have our PDF document. For some reason it produces it as a second page, so all I'm going to do is come down to the bottom on the left hand side, select the page tool, and with this first page selected I'm just going to press delete to get rid of it. We can press 5 on the keyboard to centre our page. Next thing I want to do is import my signature, so I'm just going to change to my selection tool. I'm going to come up to file down to import. I'm going to import my signature. OK to the settings. We can drag it down. We just resize it again. So hold down control to constrain the proportions. Reduce it down to the right size. We can drag it down to where we want it. And then we can export our page. So we can come up to file, down to export. This time we don't want to export it as a PNG. So if we just click on a little uh, drop down arrow, we can select PDF. So with PDF selected, we just need to decide where we're going to save our file to. I'm going to save mine into my uh, digital signature folder. So we can just give it a name. We could call this PDF signed. And we can just click save. And if we come into our folder, we should find our PDF saved. We can double click on it to open it. And you can see we've got our PDF document uh, nicely signed and ready to go. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.